Hey guys, in this video we'll cover another two objectives for the MO100 exam. Insert tables of contents and customize tables of contents. So let's jump right in. And firstly, I want you to take notice how I created this document and I recommend that every time when you create an Excel document or work with a document that you use the level style headings because it gives your document the logical structure it needs. So notice that here is the heading level 1, heading level 2, heading level 3 and when you have structured your document this way then creating a table of contents is like super duper easy. So to create a table of contents, click at the beginning of your document. It can be here. Go to references tab and to this table of contents section. Firstly, we can create a table of contents from built-in styles. So let's choose this simple automatic table one. Now, notice that basically all of the text in my document is some kind of heading. So this table of contents is really, really long and it has been created automatically. Before we modify this table, notice this update table button. For example, when I delete that word, and go back into the table of contents, it's still there. To make the changes, we have to click update the table. Okay, so update entire table. Great. Now we'll look into creating customized table of contents. To do that, click here, custom table of contents, and let's go together through the options. Firstly, in our case, we don't need all three level headings in our table of contents. To do that, we can simply select to show only the first level. Let's click OK. Replace this table of contents. OK. And this is what it looks like. Perfect. Let's check out the other options. Firstly, we have the option to show the page number, uh, to show it um, like behind the text or align it uh, to the right of the page. Then we have the tab leader, so we can change it from the dotted one to the hyphened one, like that. Let's view the change. Perfect. Then there are some more options. And here we select uh, the levels which we can change. So in our case, uh, I structure this document with heading 1, heading 2, heading 3. But in this table of contents, we can reverse these levels. So for example, I can say that heading one is level one and heading two and heading, <laughs> sorry, heading two is level one and heading one is level two. Let's click OK. And now you can see that heading one will be indented as a sub-level of heading 2. Let's view what it looks like. And that's it. So you can see that the higher level is actually indented. Okay, let's go back to the modify option. And here we can change the style of each DOC level. So, for example, we can change the style of TOC level 2 
to color red just like that and notice what happens to our table if we leave uh, the levels as they were. So heading 1 is level 2 and heading 2 is DOC level 1. Let's click OK and as expected this is our table. So yeah guys, as you can see there are quite a few options and you can certainly do amazing things and modifications with tables. I hope you find it useful. If so, you can leave a like and I will see you in the next video. Bye.